Alrighty guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And for those of you who don't know me, my name's Annika Helene. And today we're going on a very exciting event. Now this event is actually the first time I've been. It's called Youth Alive Main Event 2024. Now for those of you who don't know, this event is where all churches in the area come together in a center to worship God. Now God is from the religion Christianity. This event has lots and lots of benefits. You get to praise the Lord, you get to win some prizes and play some games, and you get to sing and dance. So this youth event occurred on the 17th of August, 2024. Now in the morning, I got ready at my house to go to my friends. <laughs> I thought it was just like seeing songs you dance like okay maybe here and there like some prizes but I never expected like some of the games like they played Mario Kart on the count of three I need all of you to stand up and swap spots on the couch here we go three, three, two, two one go everyone go down go played a game of look-alike in the crowd where they would have an image of a person or a character from a movie or a show or something you know and then they'll spot someone out in the crowd that looks like them and then they'll come up to the stage <laughs> sign of respect of everybody else in this room. No one looking around, just a few trusted leaders that are here to help you. While every head is bowed, every eye is closed. If there is sin in your life, if you know that you're not following Jesus, but you want to, you want the hope that he has on offer, you want the peace that he has on offer, you want the freedom that he has on offer, you want the salvation that he has on offer, but you're away from him. All you got to do is call on his name. Friend, don't let shame hold you in that place of struggle. Jesus didn't come to earth to say shame on you. He came to earth to say shame off you. And tonight, it can happen in a moment. But you need to choose. In a moment, I'm going to say a prayer to invite Jesus into our heart. To confess with our mouth and believe in our heart that he's Lord. And if you want to be included in that prayer, on the count of three, I want you to lift your hand to heaven. One, this is the greatest decision you can ever make. Two, don't let shame hold you in that place. Three, right now, if you're away from Jesus but you want to give your life to him, lift your hand high above your head, whether for the first time or the first time in a long time. Just lift it up and keep it raised. Thank you, I see that hand, I see that hand. 
hands going up all over this room, up in the balcony, you as well. If you're away from Jesus, but tonight you're saying, I am coming home. I want to be saved. I want to be set free. I want freedom. Friends, you need to know it's the freedom that Christ has set us free. And the Bible says that he who the Son sets free is free indeed. Hands are going up all over this room. If the Holy Spirit is speaking to you right now and you're away from God, whether you're a young person or an adult, you're saying, I want to give my life to Christ. Just lift your hand up. Amazing. And if you've lifted it, just lift it one more time so I know we haven't missed you. Man, I'm overwhelmed by the amount of hands that have raised. Here's what I want to do in this moment. I want to say a prayer with you if you've, if you've lifted your hand to heaven. So I want to ask... Would you be as bold if you've said, this is me, to get out of your seat and come and stand down the front? And right now in this moment, if that's you, come on, just get out of your seat, come and stand down the front. We're going to fill this front section and our friends and cheer as you come. You brought someone with you, why don't we say, hey, is that you? If you want to go, I'll come with you. Come on, come. Second floor section just here. It's amazing, come on. Let's make some space over there and let's get some people over here. We can fill those airlocks as well. Young person. basically invited us all to come down to the front section of the stages and he would do a prayer for us and what was really surprising for me at the end was that he was telling everyone I'll go through these certain doors and you're gonna get your own free Bible I can't believe we got free Bibles now there were four different colors as well and once you got the Bibles with your friends, they would have a person in a red hat and they would pray for you. This is so wonderful. All the people there were super nice. Oh, my God. 
to end the night, we all headed outside. We said our goodbyes and parted our way. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye bye for now.